Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Nancy and this is Silky Intuitive Tarot. Today we're going to do a look at Monday, February the 20th, I believe it is already. Uh, amazing that we are so far into the year. I, um, I'm pretty stunned how quickly time is going, but we just want to take a quick look at Monday. Give it one more good shuffle. And we'll cut three times. And we're going to pick one right there. Okay. So that was our focus. The Eight of Wands. Money and more money. Do you see this? What this week is going to be like for you guys? Work. Working with others. Playing nice in the day-to-day -day with all of those other worker bees and making money doing it. The Eight of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. This is really good energy. It's about achievement. It's about having the kind of achievements that you can see, that you can touch, that you can really feel. The kind that comes in the form of paper. The kind of paper that you can spend on goods and food and car payments and mortgages and something on monday happens very quickly for someone not everyone but something changes quickly on monday for someone for a couple of weeks i've been doing a reading that you know it's just possible that someone out there watching today is looking at a promotion. It's something that's connected to a lot more money, living a better life, a more comfortable life, a life with a lot of achievement, a lot of status. And I think for some of you, the word on that may be coming through on Monday. The Ten of Wands. Well, for some of you, it's going to feel like a real relief once the news of this promotion comes through this week. You're going to be able to lay down an old job that's weighed heavy on you. Something that's been an emotional strain. Maybe it's a very stressful job. But it feels like you've carried the weight of the world on your back. And you're looking forward to a better day because you're going to be able to lay it down. Yes, you're going to be able to lay down the pain, the struggle of something that was once really pretty much a burden on you. Watch for things to change quickly for, some, for someone. Now, the Three of Swords. Now, I'm getting a couple of different messages on this. The first one I'm getting is that you're actually going to find out that you're going to have to share the job with someone else. You're going to have to share the schedule with someone else. This also tells me that there's, you're going to find out that you're still in the running, but they're still looking at other people for the position, and you're really very hopeful that something good is going to come from it. Or, this is a promotion that you have gone through before. You've put yourself up for this before, and there have been disappointments before. But, I'm not sure, I'm hoping... That the next card means that there's finally going to be good news if you've been waiting for a while for this promotion to come through. I think somebody's going to get a promotion because the Queen of Wands is here. She always gets what she wants. She can be a fire sign. She can be actually represent your boss. 
But uh, if your boss is a woman, this can definitely represent your boss. But usually a queen of wands who runs things, she's kind of exciting to be around. She's got a really good energy. She wants the best for everybody. And so she's really kind of hopeful for you. Because even though she's part of the decision, I think she very much is like a team player. She doesn't feel like she plays people against one another. She's very friendly, very outgoing. And she's really affectionate with the people that she, she has in her employ. So I think that if this is your boss or your new boss, you're looking at someone who is just as passionate about what you do and how well you do as you are, which is nice. She shares this really great energy of desire um, with you. And I think this person actually knows that you've been disappointed before. Well, for some of you, you've got a transformational change coming. This can be a life-changing situation for some of you. It can be that, wow, the money is going to be great. The travel is going to be terrific. Uh, you're going to be able to stop working long, hard nights because all of your activities are going to change on the work front. So you've got transformational things happening around you with this work change. This is definitely, definitely connected to work for some of you. But it's really going to change your life, is what this is saying. You've got something really great coming, whoever it is on Monday. Now, <clears throat> the Five of Cups. Well, if you are at a stalemate right now, if they have not actually made this choice, you're feeling a little bit down in the dumps. You're not so sure. Maybe you doubt your abilities to be able to carry through with the responsibilities of this thing. <clears throat> Some of you may feel like it's time to give up. Time to give up on whatever it is that this leg up feels like. Um, you feel maybe... Like, uh, I almost feel like some of you are ready to quit because they just have not made up their mind or they won't make up their mind or they just keep, you feel like they keep on rejecting you. You feel like no matter what you do, no matter what you say, they keep rejecting you. And maybe that's what this connection is. Now, for some of you, this is going to be possibly a situation around love where you've got somebody new stepping into the picture. And um, maybe you're jealous. Maybe what this is is a feeling of jealousy. And the tower. An explosive situation that ends everything. Are you considering quitting a job just like that? Uh, make a plan. That's always my advice. Make sure you have a backup plan. Because if you go in there on Monday expecting expecting a promotion and it's not quite there it's not quite ready even though choices are being made around you you need patience this is saying don't blow it don't blow your head if you're calm and you resist the urge to have a meltdown because they haven't decided on what's ahead of you yet you're going to need to either lose it and then lose your job or you're going to have to just remain very calm 
and let let this thing progress on its own. Because with the death card, <clears throat> we're absolutely rejuvenating a situation. So let's not be too hasty with our emotions because I think that even though you're feeling like uh, you might get rejected again, don't be surprised. Really, don't be surprised. If word comes quite suddenly this week, while you're feeling a little bit down about yourself, the word may come this week while you're feeling doubtful about it. Now the Queen of Cups. Love, affection, the support of a partner, self-love, looking at a better life, satisfaction. It's about feeling really good about the way that things are things are looking. So even though you're you're going through a period of maybe doubting yourself or feeling like this leg up, this promotion, this advancement, this proposal of marriage, whatever this is, even though you're feeling like it's not going to happen. I've got good things developing around it. But it feels like if you lose your head over the situation, that, you know, the positive things will be blocked. The chariot, see? The card of success. Moving forward positively. Choices are needed to be made around this thing yet. And it feels like it's been a struggle getting to this point. But you have to have more faith in the choices that are being made. Because you have very understanding, quite passionate energy around you. The struggle you're feeling, to me, is very much internal. It's very much emotional. And it's based around this choice. This choice that's going to carry you forward. But there's an element in you that just wants to either sit down and cry over it or <clears throat> just have some sort of a mental explosion because you've been waiting for what feels like a while. Now, we have the high priestess trusting in your intu intuition. Trust your gut. What does your gut tell you to do? Is your gut telling you to lose your mind and go crazy because you're just not happy at the moment? What's your gut telling you your next move should be? It's saying maybe you should follow your instincts. What does your instinct tell you? How are you supposed to release during a time like this? Follow your in instincts. I think that's the best, the best thing I can say for you. Is just you gotta keep cool. You gotta stay calm. And this blow up is right here with this Queen of Wands, who kind of gets everything that she wants. But if she blows up, if she explodes. You know, her gut is telling her that it's possible that the road ahead might just be more difficult than you want it to be. <clears throat> well, now the Knight of Cups, he brings satisfaction. So I think you're really, <clears throat> pardon me, this is saying you get, you've got to get out of your head. Okay, you've really got to get out of your head here. You are really almost overly tuned into the situation. And this card here of the tower, you kind of know 
what can happen if you don't stay in a very calm state. This guy here, this Knight of Cups, he really, he's not terribly excitable. He's emotional, but he doesn't let his fury get the best of him. He doesn't let his temper take over. He's very calm. He's very relaxed. And manifestation with the alchemist or the magician. Look, you've got all the tools. You have all the abilities to make this situation work out in your favor. But what you really need to do while you're manifesting this leg up, this movement upward, is you really need to manifest a chill factor. You really need to remain calm. The message for me more than anything right now is that in a fit of anger or a bit of a snit where they say, well, you know what, we're thinking about going another way. Somebody may just have an upsetting episode. Like with the Knight of Swords. He reacts hastily. He kind of overreacts. He can be really dramatic. And so there may be some drama around something going on in the workplace on Monday. Maybe if there is a very kind of hasty reaction from someone who's being disappointed on the job and it causes a bit of upset. It can cause hurt feelings. It can cause gossip. So I think this is just for whoever. You need to be aware that there is poss the possibility of a very upsetting episode at work. On Monday, I almost see the scene from Jerry Maguire when he's scooping the fish, the goldfish, out of the tank while he's freaking out. I can almost see something like that happening, where somebody is fed some really bad news, and they take it incredibly bad. <laughs> the Four of Cups. Like I said, somebody is given a piece of news that possibly catches them off guard and really maybe turns the day into a very bad event for someone. Well, the King of Cups is here now. A lot of emotion tied to the situation. I don't know if it's, if we were, maybe we are dealing with a with a water sign because of all the emotion tied up here. Even the uh, the 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 chariot is a cup. She's a cup. This is a cup. The you know there is so much emotion here tied to this situation that I really think somebody is going to have the fit of the century at work on Monday over a disappointment on the Four of Pentacles. Well, for whoever this is, I think they're going to be lucky to hold on to their jobs on Monday because of all the emotion that gets drug into the workplace. It turns into a kind of a big drama for someone at work. Someone who has some real emotional issues that they're dealing with on Monday, and then the decision is going to be made at the end of all of this if someone is going to be able to keep their job or not. Now I'm going to do three more. The Emperor, the Five of Pentacles, ouch, and the Wheel of Fortune. Well, for someone, the boss is here, the Emperor is here. Being shut out, being locked out, the five of couple uh, of pentacles, being left out, maybe to fend for yourself or themselves. But someone may very well be looking at the unemployment line sometime this week because of an incident that happens on Monday at work. 
It may have been something that already happened last week, but Monday is going to be another big drama day for whoever this is happening to. Now, also know that it is someone's karmic destiny that they lose their job this week, only because whoever is watching is going to be stepping into their job. That's the real message coming through on this. I don't even know if it's you actually directly connected to whatever is happening here. Maybe you've had your eye on this job for a very long time. Somebody has a breakdown at work during the week. This is going to energy, I think has already happened last week or is starting on Monday. But that person is looking to get fired on Monday. But the big drama is for one of you guys, that person being kicked out on their derriere is going to free up the position for you. And whoever you are that's getting this job because some Fruit Loop at work decides they're going to have a meltdown, good for you. Now, I want to take a look at, I've got a life purpose card to draw for you guys. <clears throat> Pardon me. I wish my voice would clear up. It's because my sinuses are going into allergy mode here in Illinois. So, okay, let's grab a life purpose card for someone. I don't know why I keep getting these goofy scenarios for you guys, but they're fun. So, when, when it happens, let me know through my email address. Now, if you guys want love readings, I'm in the process of posting love readings for March and April. It's called Love Side by Side. They're at my Vimeo link. I'll leave that down below. You can go there and take a look. They're, the collection for March and April is just starting to build. But there are love readings there that are still for February. If you want to take a look, those are at Vimeo. And if you want a reading meant just for yourself, uh, reach out to me through my Weebly webpage. Uh, yes. Oh, and I want to get an answer card for you for Monday. If you were looking for an answer and it did not happen here, I'm going to draw an answer card. Maybe it will help someone get through that question that they had today. All right. Here we go. First, our answer. Our angel answer for the... <clears throat> pardon me. Hmm. Our angel answer for the day, I need to rest my voice, is trust. Okay, that almost makes sense to me, guys. Because if spirit is about to hand you a life-changing leg up, promotion, advancement. Somebody might walk up to you out of nowhere and say, my secretary just quit in a fit of anger. Would you like to come to work for me? That's the leg up. Trust. Trust that something great can potentially happen for you on this day. But that's a message for someone. And now I'm going to grab a life purpose. This may only reflect to one person. I don't know. But the life purpose for Monday is strength. It says, everything you've experienced in your life has made you strong and courageous. So this is saying that during this period of time, if this is talking to you, you're going to have to dip in and grab some strength. Get some inner strength. That's self-assurance that is a positive new look at yourself because it feels to me very much like one of you guys at least is looking for something really big and beautiful to happen to you this week I would say but look for things maybe to start shifting on Monday even if it's one of you guys congratulations Okay, Weebly website, if you want a reading for yourself, 
reach out to me through the contact form and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you want, like I said, for March and April, the collection is starting to grow. I've already got Capricorn, Sagittarius, and Scorpio up there. Uh, look for some more to build this week. Um, go over there. Love readings. There's a whole bunch of stuff over there. Look around. And until the next time, guys, take care of yourselves. One another, I'll be back with you tomorrow with a look at Tuesday. And until then, take care and peace.